Having a dad who liked to spend quality time with the family was great. However, when he called doing chores quality family time, we kids looked at it in a different way, a pain in the rear. Bobby, why are you making us clean the patio? Didn't Cesar Chavez fight for the right of oppressed laborers? Absolutely. But Cesar Chavez didn't need an allowance to buy the latest jeans. Besides, what counts is we're spending time together as a familia. Hmm? Oh, yeah, and that's much more fun than playing soccer. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing except, uh, anything. Basta, I don't want to hear any more complaining. Let's just enjoy a quiet, peaceful morning. Insane? Just moved in next door. And, well, I don't believe in borders between neighbors. Well, I believe I paid a lot of money for those bushes. Ah, oh, come on. Loosen up, Ray. Ray, how do you know my name? <laughs> it's me, your old buddy, Chet Bauer. You know, kids think adults aren't afraid of stuff anymore. But that's not true. My dad was afraid of dentists, faculty meetings, and most of all, having Chet Bauer for a neighbor. Stop by to say howdy. I'll see you around, neighbor. Dad? Are you okay? Say something. I have some horrible news. Chet Bauer is our new neighbor. I know, mi amor. You know? Since when? Since yesterday. I ran into Molly Bauer when they were moving in. First time I really sat down and talked to her. Did you know their marriage was her father's idea? You're missing the point. The Bowers are our new neighbors. This is a catastrophe. Think about the kids. The Bauer children are our kids' ages. It'll be nice for them to have friends living next door. I need to borrow your head, Sid. Well, I have no problems with the kids living next door, but do they have to bring their father with them? Ray, I know it's going to be difficult, but it's not going to do your blood pressure any good to worry. Oh, you're right. After all, what can we do? Well, we can invite them for dinner, which I already have. No, 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 no. Yo no permito que le entren esta casa. Ray, like it or not, they live next door now, and the Garcias are going to be gracious neighbors. Oh, all right. They can come to dinner. I'm man enough to handle that. It's so sad we have to slave away like this on a Saturday. I know, it's a beautiful day. I could be inside playing video games. Yeah, I could be shooting hoops with Rush Bauer now that he lives next door. Maybe he can teach me some moves. You know, he is on the varsity team. <laughs> you know, I just wish that they'd sent Rush to military school like they did with Eddie. That kid is bad news. Come on, guys, let's finish up our chores. Hey, if Dad can bail, we can bail. <laughs> I'm with you. George? Vamanos! <laughs> Do I really have to wear a diaper? You know what? I I'm at it. And you know what? If you keep spinning like that, you're gonna hurl. Hi, I'm Kay Bauer. My family just moved in next door. I I'm lovely. I'm uh, I Larry. Uh, I'm Larry.
So, uh, why haven't I seen you in school? I go to Clemente Middle School. Wow, you have to be a genius to go there. I don't know about genius, but it is a school for gifted students. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to apologize for the bushes. My dad does things without thinking sometimes. Well, I've got to get back. See you later. Later. <laughs> Neighbor. Neighbor. Hey, George, here's your basketball back. Well, Carlos, get back here. Yes? When I lent you this ball, it was round. Are you sure? What happened to my ball? I spout when I was shooting hoops. I faked him out of his shoes and blew by him for a bucket. And then he kicked the ball into the street where it got run over by a truck. And what did you say? Nice kick. But I said it really sarcastically. Oh, man, this bites. Having Rush live next door is a pain. I mean, he's a poor sport, he's conceited, annoying. You gotta stay focused on the positive. And what's that? It wasn't my ball. It's so cool that you guys moved in next door, Laura. Totally. We're gonna hang out all the time now, just like when we were kids. Yeah, but instead of playing with dolls, we can talk about important issues like... Speaking of important issues, did you get the latest issue of Teen Dream Magazine? There's an awesome poster of one is. No, I must have missed that. Did you see the film Mujeres Unidas? Was Leo in that? No. It was an all-woman cast. It was really amazing, cause... If it doesn't have BLT, I won't see it. BLT? Brad, Leo, or Tom? Oh. Right. I'm reading a great book. It's a biography on Jose Angel Gutierrez. Oh. Cool. Wasn't he in Menudo? No. He fought for Chicano civil rights in the 60s and 70s. No offense, but you kind of got boring. I'm not boring. You're shallow. Whatever. Besides, Luisa Sparza broke up with his girlfriend, and I want to be him in case he drops by. Don't count on it. I think he likes me. Hello? I'd love to. Hang on a sec. You know, I don't think that whole Louis thing is going to be happening for you. He just asked me out. Knowing that Carrie was going to be sitting in my house for dinner, I remember thinking for the first time, I actually have to decide what to wear. Should I show off my edgy side, too cool for school, or my playful side? <laughs> Ooh. Sure that I could play any game, anytime. Yes, love it. Or that I could just be a player, no one shine, yo, 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 dog, what's up? Yeah, you know how it is. Nah, you know, something told me to just play being myself. Well, that must be the Bowers. Mom, it's not too late. If we ignore them, maybe they'll go away. Mija, that's enough. Ray. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Ramon Garcia, answer the door. Hey! hey. Hello, welcome Hello. to Casa Garcia. Thank you. <laughs> where's, where's Carlos? He's upstairs with George. Wow! Look at this place. I haven't been here in a year, and it's still as boring as ever. Good thing I brought you something for your office, Ray. You know, nothing makes a room feel more alive than dead animal hides. Our house is full of the furry little critters. Ooh. But, uh, Chet, uh, that doesn't go with my... anything. Molly. Oh, you didn't have to bring anything. Well, it's just a little dish that I whipped up. It's my award-winning chicken mole. Oh, you know, that's so funny because I made my chicken mole, too. You brought that to the PTA's Remember the Alamo Brunch, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. It's kind of my signature dish. It was a little dry. I'll teach you my secret recipe later. Thank you so much. Uh, Laura, put those on the table. Well, Mom, there's already flowers there. Well, move them. You don't mind, do you? This centerpiece was featured in Mobile Home Magazine. Oh, well, by all means. Hey, Lorena, do you like my new hairstyle? Louise did. Oh, it's nice. 
if you're looking for straw to build a nest with. Lorena. We found the best hair salon in town. Have you thought about a new look? <clears throat> well, actually, I am a hairstylist. Oh, right. Oh, I forgot about your little hobby. Well, come along, Laura. We have work to do in the kitchen. I'm a good neighbor. I'm a good neighbor. I'm a good neighbor. I'm a good neighbor. I'm a... You have a beautiful house. Thank you. I'll give you the grand tour. <laughs> It'll look perfect right here. Just got to tear out this bookcase that's in the way. I'll swing by in the morning with my chainsaw and take care of it. No. No chainsaws. Fine. Have it your way. Wait. Brainstorm. You know what would be great, Ray? If you were to get rid of all those weeds along the fence. That's my garden, Chet. Weeds, garden, same difference. We tear out your weeds, sorry, your garden, and then bust down the fence, combine our backyards, and build one gigantic pool. What do you think? I think we'll pass in the pool, Chet. This is George's in my room. Cool, the Atlantis space shuttle. How do you know about that? Are you kidding? The Atlantis is the largest spacecraft ever in orbit. Besides, I want to be an aeronautical engineer. Really? I want to be an astronaut. Maybe I'll design the shuttle you ride in someday. Have a nice day in space, dear. I said uh, that I'd love you to uh, design my shuttle. Come on, dinner's probably ready. All I'm saying is George doesn't know anything about music. He wouldn't know the difference between in sync and the kitchen sink. What are you talking about? George knows more about music than you ever will. Yeah. Carl, what are you, his mom now? <laughs> what, you can't stick up for yourself, George? I can stick up for myself. I Just can't believe off, you Russia stole Louise from me. me. I totally liked him, him before you did. Yeah. I'll be sure to so mix that you. tomorrow on our day. You two ain't got a muscle between I merely yeah. noted that my yeah. chicken yeah. mole yeah. tastes yeah. a yeah. tipsy yeah. bit yeah. fresher yeah. than yeah. yours. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. chicken yeah. mole yeah. has yeah. been in my family for generations. And it tastes like it. were allowed to date. I do not want to share a pool, a tennis court, or a military obstacle course. The only thing I want is a bigger fence. Kitchen. Well, that's what just you fine. About? And you can forget my about your about dead deer hide. The only hide I want hanging on my wall is yours. Well, it is obvious that the Garcias are not the good neighbor types. From now on, the Bowers are officially not speaking to the Garcias. Bowers, front and center. Believe it just as I was thinking of giving my heart to carry. Mr. Bauer intercepted it and drop kicked it right out of the stadium. Ah. A whole week had passed and I hadn't even seen Carrie. I remember the only time I'd ever felt this bad before was when Roberto Flores punched me in the stomach during recess. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Otra vez. Who is that? Another hang up. That was the fifth one today. Ray, what's that strange smell? The Bowers are barbecuing. Chet must have run over an armadillo with his car. I know it's hard to be neighborly with the Bowers, but we have to give it a try. So I said they could trim the pepper tree on the side of the house. But, mi amor, you love that tree. I know, I know, but it could use a little trim. What is that? Rush is taking electric guitar lessons. 
Okay, that's it. That's it. We cannot live next to that family. Look, I think we should move. Don't you think that's overreacting a little bit, Ray? There's lots of things to consider. Schools, finances, my salon. section we're moving oh that night I just couldn't sleep and it had nothing to do with George's snoring not only hadn't I seen Carrie but mom and dad were doing some serious house hunting oh it was more than my poor hormones could take Psst. Larry Larry are you awake Larry? Larry? Wherefore art thou, Larry? What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Carrie is the sun. Larry? What are you talking about? Huh? Didn't you hear a word I just said? My dad forbid any Bauer from seeing any Garcia. If he knew I was up here, he'd ground me for life. Come on in. I've been trying to call you all week, but... Every time your dad answers the phone, I hang up. So, that explains all the crank phone calls we've been getting. Oh, George, please, you can't tell anyone. We'll never be able to see each other again. Oh, don't worry, Romeo. I won't blab. Thanks, George. Now, how about a little privacy? Oh, right. Um, well, I'm gonna go grab a snack. See you later. Lover boy. <sighs> this has gotten really bad. My parents are talking about us moving. We have to do something to get our families together. And so we talketh it longeth into the nighteth about how to us bring us our family together. No wonder people stop talking like this. It bites. What's well, lovely? Are there any churros in there? What kind of dumb question is that? Besides, I already checked. It's so uh, fruity. Hey, there's a card. Dear Garcias, we are very, 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 very sorry. Love the Bowers. I bet the fruit is rotten. Yeah, they probably got it at a garage sale. <laughs> are you kidding? That thing cost $39.95. I'm guessing. Well, I think it's a lovely gesture. And it makes me realize that I am ashamed of how I behaved before. And obviously, the Bowers want to give being good neighbors another try. And I think the Garcias should, too. Ah, oh, hi. hi, neighbors. Hey. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> the Bowers and the Garcias together again. Come here, you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the fruit, fruit basket. basket. What, what are, are you, you talking, talking about? about? You, you gave, gave us a fruit basket. basket. No, we, we didn't. didn't. Now, why in the world would we give you a fruit basket? The Bowers have been nothing but gracious. You call your behavior gracious? You've been nothing but thoughtless and selfish. You are the worst neighbors in the history of neighbors. That's it. The Garcias are leaving. Um, Dad, we kind of live here. Not for long. We're making an offer in a house across town, far away from you. Good riddance. Wally, the bad face. You were kidding about moving, right? No, no, no. We cannot live next door to the Bowers. If my family moved to the other side of town, Carrie would be O-O-B-R. That's right, out of bike range. I'd never see her again. And I heard that could put a strain on our relationship. Carrie? Oh, I'm glad you finally answered. I hung up on your dad five times. Well, anyway, my parents are serious about us moving to the other side of town. We gotta do something major and fast. Well, Anna, I thought I told you to get Larry. I tried, but I couldn't find him. I'll get him. Larry! Dinner! Well, does anybody know where Larry is? It's probably out with Carrie. Did I just say that out loud? Dime, mijo. Uh, well, I kind of promised I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> well, I kind of promised you won't be allowed to play computer games for a month. Larry and Carrie really like each other. But 
since you and the Bowers have been fighting, they've been really upset. <laughs> I'll call the Bowers. Um, could you leave my name out of this? <laughs> I didn't think so. Yeah, Chet. Ray Garcia here. Is Larry there? Really? Carrie isn't home either. This is all your fault, Garcia. My fault? How is it my fault? If you didn't live next door, none of this would have happened. Well, if you hadn't moved next door... Yeah? Chet may not have understood a word of Spanish, but he knew better than to mess with a mother on the edge. Arguing with each other is not going to help us find Larry and Carrie. That's okay, because we're back. My Sorry, Mom, but Carrie and I figured that running away would be the only way we could see each other. But then we decided not to. Well, thank goodness you made the right decision. Running away doesn't solve your problems, it makes them bigger. That's true. No matter how bad things are, there's always a better solution. You just have to keep working at it. I think this advice applies to the Garcias and Bowers. You big goofball. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does that mean we get to stay? The Garcias are staying. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> the Garcias and the Bowers. Mano a mano. Hey, hey, hey! Hello! Come on in! Hi. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, well, thanks, Chad. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. In fact, I have one just like it, except mine's all nicely rolled up. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, this is it. You see, I borrowed it and kind of forgot to mention it. No problem. Oh, and I'll make sure you get your yard weasel back by tomorrow. You took... Neighbor, me weasel, a su weasel. Guess what? Louise dumped me. Really? That's too bad. George, so cool that you guys this is for you. Store. Sorry about your ball. Uh, no sweat. Thanks. Come on, I'll hit you pass. Rush, I don't think that's a good... ...idea. <sighs> so, who's hungry? Oh, I am. Sounds good. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> uh, you'll clean that up later. My well, mom and dad were right. I mean, there's always a better way to deal with problems than to just run away from them. And maybe it means putting up with a broken vase now and then or the smell of strange meat on the barbecue. But it can also mean the start of a beautiful friendship. Todo para la familia. Everything for the family. Uh,